Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, continuing through Unknown Pleasures, the next song by Joy Division is called Insight. I'm very excited to check this out. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're new here, I would recommend starting at the beginning. I started with the first song on this record, and we're just going through the whole thing because recently I've started listening to a little bit more uh, post-punk music in on my own time. And this specific album has been recommended by many as like the definitive post-punk album. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Daniel, and here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. If that sounds interesting to you, uh, consider subscribing and all that if you want. All right, let's get into it. Three, two, one. Insight. atmosphere of this album is so perfect. Question: What is that noise? The doo -doo. is that a like a keyboard sound or some synth or is that like someone making that noise? You know, there's a lot of it sounds like there's a lot of reverb and it sounds like it's coming from far away. Um, this song starting with the sound of like opening doors in a, in a dungeon or something was uh, yeah. I love how the album's called Unknown Pleasures, but so far we've been. Uh, thrust into lyrical territory that has been extremely uh, extremely dark and yeah I really like the tone of this album let's keep going Tears and sadness for you More upheaval for you Reflects a moment in time A special moment in time Angels beware 
afraid anymore. Let's go. Drumming is so interesting on this album. Uh, love the drums. All right, cool, 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 cool. That song was a little bit different than the rest of them. It was a, it was, it felt. Um, I don't even know what it was. The whole song felt like we were building up to something. I guess the 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 drum bits and the the instrumental breakdown sections are probably what we were building up to. But I wonder if the next song, New Dawn fades. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, am I an idiot? Did I title one of my other videos, my reaction to Candidate, as Candidate Unknown Pleasures? Wow. Because I thought that that was part of the name of the song. Yeah, I, I guess I did do that. Let me, uh, let me fix that. <laughs> um, but I wonder if the next song, New Dawn Fades, will be like, like fast pace because this one kind of slow built up to it it wasn't a slow song it just felt like that for some reason anyway insight is perhaps one of the most overlooked joy division songs it's one of their saddest too it is the track from unknown pleasures that most explicitly deals with the theme of death and curtis's apathy towards living which he rages about over a gentle but driving rhythm section so um someone pointed this out and uh i Kind of agree with them so i'm just going to throw it out there in case anyone wasn't aware but you know the genius stuff on here for the most part is uh written by contributors just anybody can add to this um now people who look at it can upvote and downvote it and the most pertinent information normally ends up on top um but there is still a level of subjectivity there uh as there always will be you know um and I think that there is a, um, uh, there is it, there is a desire that some people have to retroactively recontextualize every single song by um, an artist like Ian Curtis uh, through the lens of what happened afterward. And while the any given song on this album could be about, you know, mental health struggles and other things, we've also seen themes about war. We've seen many different interpretations of the songs and many different ways to look at them. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, rant over. Let's continue. Guess your dreams always end. They don't rise up. They just descend. But I don't care anymore. I've Okay, well, actually, this is, actually, this is a pretty good example of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've lost the will to want more. I'm not afraid, not at all. I watch them all as they fall, but I remember when we were young. Here, Curtis might be alluding to how attaining your dreams doesn't always have a positive effect. In fact, he argues it has the opposite effect. The idea of descent could reveal the negative come downs of various highs or even achievements, as once you succeed, you have greater height to fall from. Alternatively, this might even be a comment on fame, as it can often make you feel more isolated and more alone. Much like other lyrics on the album, Curtis examines the impertinent, impermanence and lack of meaning in life. It is strange to be known so universally and yet to be so lonely, says Albert Einstein. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I've thought about that before. Uh, if you make it to your goals, then what? You know, if you, if you set some high expectation and you spend years tr chasing that, that goal and then you achieve it you make it you do what you wanted to do and then you kind of know that that was the peak then what you know do you put even more pressure on yourself to try to best yourself 
or is the rest of your life kind of a, a downhill or do you look for a different area to try to do well in who knows all right um this is possibly one of the darkest lines on the entire album and a stark indication of Curtis's depression. The loss of the will to want more is a clear indication of Curtis's weak mental state, as he has lost all ambition and feels he cannot achieve any further. This line could suggest that he once had ambition and wished to succeed, but now circumstances have changed and he has limited aspirations to want more. Perhaps Ian is trying to say that you might be happy and inspira aspirational? aspirational at the moment, but in the future you could end up like him and then he says i'm not afraid an obvious interpretation is that he no longer fears death but alternatively it could also be an ironic comment on how he is in fact afraid of death as curtis's wife often claimed ian was immensely afraid of dying ian leaves the underlying theme of caring what people in society think about you competitiveness and narcissism he remembers when he was young and life was easier and hopeful and didn't you didn't know how negative life could be also, his wife Deborah Curtis wrote in her book, Touching from a Distance, that she was very confused hearing the lyrics, I remember when we were young, written by Ian, age 21 or 22. It just shows how complicated of a man he was, and for all of Joy Division nerds like me, she thought that line was in New Dawn Fades. Hmm. All right. Those with habits of waste their sense of style and good taste, of making sure you were right. Hey, don't you know you were right? Let's see. Um, I'm not afraid anymore. I keep my eyes on the door, but I remember. Tears of sadness for you, more upheaval for you. Refl this was an interesting way of writing this. So rhymes to you with you, then time, 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 and time. Reflects a moment in time, a special moment in time. Yeah, we wasted our time. We didn't really have time, but we remember when we were young. He is again thinking too much about what people do and act, and eventually he realizes it's all quite meaningless in the end. Um, hmm. Death. Ironically, his wife said he was extremely afraid of death. The door here, instead of possibilities, might symbolize the way out. He keeps focused on the way out. Maybe he looked back on his life and realized he was in the exact same position as he was years before and no better. Hence, although time had a Hence, although time had elapsed. Okay. These lines seem to reflect the younger side of Ian that he refers to throughout the song. The one who was emotionally open. The one who cried. It's as if a glimmer of hope in life for Ian is still present. But as soon as the song progresses through... He shakes the notion and realizes that still nothing matters. Yeah, it's a very sad song. And all God's angels beware, all you judges beware, sons of chance take good care. For all of the people not there, I am not afraid anymore, I am not afraid anymore. This portrays a raw anger underlying the depression and a sense of anger towards God or a higher power because he cannot see any goodness in life anymore. And he's warning all the people, the judges, to beware because they don't understand him nor know what he's experiencing and don't judge because they don't know that he's already living in hell. Damn. All right. Yeah. One of Peter Hook's favorite Joy Division tracks. Um I don't know if I'm right, but the first line, guess your dreams always end, would be the reason for the first New Order song titled Dreams Never End. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's Joy Division, and they name that Insight. Well, yeah. Um, but again, once again, to say that, you know, um, you can find many different ways to, like, it, within the context of the rest of the album, what does this mean, you know? Um I don't know. Um, like, was uh, Curtis, obviously, we're not going to really know this, but is it documented that he was doing poorly at the time they were recording this album? Because this, this isn't even, they had another album after this, right? And, and those were their only two as well. Yeah, it's sad. 
All right, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you are new to the channel, again, consider subscribing if you want. Uh, and yeah, we're going to keep on rolling along. Hope you guys are having a great week. See you soon. Deathstroke 9.